Okay, I warned you there was gonna be a lot of reviews in the month of October. So here we are with another review from a brand that I haven't talked about in a while. Hi, my name is Lauren. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. If you are a returning subscriber, you have made my day. Thank you for coming back. Now, today we are talking about a launch from ColourPop. I've not bought anything from ColourPop in a hot minute. I even missed out on the Haunted Mansion collection and I always get their Halloween collections, but it just wasn't doing it for me. I wasn't super excited about it. So I almost kind of surprised myself when I ended up picking up this little collection, most of the collection, not all of the collection, but what are we talking about today? We are talking about the ColourPop Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection. This is the For Love and Justice eyeshadow palette. And uh, just so you know what it looks like on the inside, this little guy is what we're going to be playing with today. So as you can see, I mean, they did a good job with the packaging. They always do. It's a very Sailor Moony. This palette does not come with a mirror, which is kind of surprising, but they kind of like 50-50. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But it does make it a little more lightweight, which I like. So we're also talking about the two highlighters that came in this collection. So we have Moon Kingdom and we have Moonlight. And Moon Kingdom is definitely a deeper purple. Very deep, very pretty. Well, not very deep, but it's deep for a highlight for my skin tone. For Moonlight, it's much, much lighter. So again, there's no mirrors on either of these in case you're curious. Now this collection did have some lip products. I did not pick those up. I do not need any more lip products. I ended up pulling up my color pop, uh, what is this? Ultra Glossy Lip from their Winx collection and uh, forgot how much I liked it. It's very, very shiny and glittery. But let's get into these swatches, get into these looks, and uh, I'll let you decide for yourself if this is something you want to add to your collection. Okay, here we go with the swatches. Um, it's a really pretty palette, I will say. So let's see how these swatch. First up, we got Twinkles. Then we have Save the World. Cool girl. So cosmic. Oh, I don't even know if you can see that one. It's very light. Secret powers. Friends forever. Starlight, Aqua, Her Destiny, Always There, Girl Power, and Starry Sky. So here is the whole Sailor Moon palette swatched. Interesting variety of colors, I would say. So let's see how they look on the eyes. I think the one thing that I was worried about when I picked this up was that it was gonna be too light. The colors were gonna be too light for what I typically like to see. Um, and the swatching kind of confirmed that that may be an issue, but we're going to see. We shouldn't make any assumptions yet. I haven't put it on my eyes, but I think I'm going to start by going into Her Destiny in the corner here. And, you know, I will say that the bottom row, actually probably the top or the middle row starting with that aqua color, uh, those did swatch pretty well. And they are pretty pigmented, so... Let's see. Yeah, like this one's going on quite nicely. It's a very pretty like periwinkle. Yeah, that went on quite nicely. Okay, I think next what I wanna do, I'm gonna go into this Save the World color here. Um, it's one of their sequin shadows. It's one of those shadows that has like shimmer in it, but it's not an actual shimmer. Does that make sense? Let me just put it on top. It'll give it a little more shimmer. And typically, I don't really like the sequin shades because 
It feels like the shimmers don't really stick. They fall off, they create a lot of fallout. It's not a true ColourPop shimmer, it's very odd. It's an odd formula. And normally it's like, the color is really pretty, like the actual pigment of the color is pretty, but then the shimmers just flake off throughout the day. It's very odd. It's a choice, that's for sure. But it's just going on nicely, but yeah, I can see kind of the little pieces of shimmer just getting everywhere. <laughs> Okay, you know I like to do a darker color on the ends of my eyes, but I'm not gonna go in with the purple. Surprise. I'm gonna go with this blue, Starry Sky. It's just, it caught my attention. It's very pretty. I think though we might see that it's also one of those sequin shades. Yeah, like I see shimmer in the pan, but it's not really coming off on the eye. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Okay, I think what I want to do now is I want to do, I want to do something else before I start putting all the shimmers on. Okay, I'm going to go into Girl Power. I am going to go into this purple. Go figure. We're so surprised. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just like put it in my crease. Because I want to create a little more dimension with this look. Okay, these colors are playing really nicely with each other. They're layering on top of each other really nicely. Um, it's just always good when the colors play well with each other. And that really is, that is a pretty purple and that is a pretty blue. Okay, all the colors that we've played with so far are actually really pretty, so I am happy to say. Uh, next, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into, this Twinkles color was stunning. Okay, when I swatched it, I was like, what? I don't think it's a super shock. Actually, you know, it might be a super shock. I am not 100% sure. It doesn't feel like a standard super shock, but it is very soft. Okay, and I'm just putting that in the rest of my eye. And that's really pretty. Um, let's go back into that pretty periwinkle color down here. Put that underneath the waterline. So I'm going to go ahead and prime this eye and then let's do another look and then after both looks are done, we'll do mascara and we'll do eyeliner to really wrap it all up. This look is going to be really simple. Normally I like to do one more complicated look and one a little bit simplified look um, because that's more as to what I normally go for day to day, a simpler, more normally a halo looking thing. Um, so of course we're going to go into aqua, this very, very pretty green. And we are gonna do kind of a halo shape with that. Oh yeah, that is a very pretty, 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 pretty shimmer. Okay, I'm not sure I'm understanding this one in the corner so cosmic. When I swatched it, like almost nothing really appeared. But I'm going to attempt to put that in the middle of my halo. It's so sheer. Yeah, I think it took on more of the green than anything else. You like, cannot see that color. <laughs> Maybe you can on camera. In person, it just looks like I put more of the aqua color on there. Okay, well, uh, let's instead go into Starlight, this color next to aqua. And this one has a bit more no, not a lot more color, not a lot more color. Come on. This is one of those like sticky shades that they've been releasing in some of their palettes. It's got like a sticky base. It's, it's weird, but normally it's very pretty. Well, okay. I guess the two colors that I picked to go in the middle of there were both really toppers. <laughs> they weren't. There weren't so much standalone colors, I will say. So, a little disappointing. I'm gonna go into this color, Schoolgirl, right here. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a little bit of that underneath my waterline, just so that we can actually play with pretty much every single color in this palette. Now that is definitely a just pastel peach, which is not one I reach for a lot. I'm not big on pastels. We've talked about this. 
Okay, very, very simple, um, not complicated at all. I am actually going to touch this one up a little bit. I want more blue. Okay, there, I feel better. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put eyeliner on and I'm gonna do some mascara and I'm gonna come back and then let's talk about this palette. I always feel so much better after mascara and eyeliner. I cannot even tell you. Um, I also took this opportunity to pull out my Winx and ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in the color, is it rainbow? It might be rainbow. Nope, Tecna. Tecna, it's beautiful. I really do like this one. Apparently don't know what it's called, but that doesn't matter because let's get into these highlighters. So just for a reminder, we have the darker purple one, which is Moon Kingdom and looks like this. And the other one we have is Moonlight. Yeah, we're gonna attempt to do both of these. I'm not wearing blush right now. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna first kind of go in with Moon Kingdom, the darker one. I don't know if this is gonna work for my skin tone at all. It seems a little bit dark, but it also just looks really pretty, so might as well. Yeah, and I think using it kind of as more of a blush. Oh my gosh. Wait, are you, are you gonna see this? <laughs> That's so pretty. Uh, okay. It's not what I was expecting. It's so shimmery, but like that finely milled kind of shimmer that just like luminizes your skin. It's definitely a touch deep to be just a standalone highlighter for my skin tone, but we're gonna wear it as a blush. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm gonna wear it as an eyeshadow because I've said that in the past and then I never do it. So, oh, pretty. Okay, I really like that one. Plus look at the outer packaging, it's so cute. Okay, now let's go into Moonlight. This one is significantly lighter. And it's not really picking up over that purple. Let's do my nose then. We'll do my nose with it. Ooh, it's pretty. Yeah, so <laughs> that purple highlighter is intense. So let me really quickly just swatch the two of them. Okay, Moonlight is on top, then Moon Kingdom is on the bottom. So that's what they look like. Moonlight is pretty light. I mean, normally it would be a great highlighter for me, but I think it's it's clearly outpigmented by the other one. Still, I'm pretty happy with how the look came out. I actually really like using Moon Kingdom as a blush. It's very pretty. Are we ready to talk about my final thoughts about this collection? I think we are, I think we are. So first we have to talk about the Sailor Moon for Love and Justice palette. This is what it looks like. Mm, I'm conflicted on this one. I am. I actually think the color story is really pretty. I think the color story fits Sailor Moon really well. The lighter, pastel -y more colors just reminds me of Sailor Moon. I used to watch Sailor Moon when I was little. Whenever I would get home from, I think I was in like maybe elementary school, junior high, that age, uh, when Sailor Moon was out. So I used to love it. So the colors do remind me of Sailor Moon. But that doesn't mean they're my favorite kind of colors. I typically don't love super pale, less pigmented colors. I like something with a little more pigment. When I saw this one online, I was conflicted as to whether or not I needed it because I could tell that a lot of the colors were lacking the amount of pigmentation that I normally like. But I've had a really good experience with some of ColourPop's more pastel -y shimmers in the past. And I would say Aqua is a good example of that. It's a really, really beautiful color. It goes on really nicely. It's a beautiful, like ethereal shimmer, which you know I like. And it reminds me of some of the other palettes that I really like. What's that one palette? Why am I? Aurora Struck, yes. My favorite palette from ColourPop and I blanked on the name, but that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color story. And it's full of colors very much like Aqua. They're shimmery, they're not quite as pigmented, but they look so beautiful and majestic on your, well, maybe not majestic, that's not right. 
but it's kind of like the Aurora Borealis. It's just a shimmer of color and it's beautiful and you want to stare at it and you want to put your finger in it. So that's what Aqua reminds me of. Very, very beautiful. Um, so cosmic, this, this one up in here, I don't understand it. Um, but <laughs> like, I just don't get it. it. It really, there's like no color payoff. It's so sheer that you really can't see anything. I mean, a topper, I guess, I guess. Starlight has some bigger pieces of shimmer in it, so I do like it a little bit better. Um, but again, I think it would work better as a topper. I really do. What surprised me most, I think, were the mattes. The mattes were beautiful in this palette. So I thought Secret Powers, Her Destiny, Girl Power, all these more colorful mattes worked really, really well. So, oh, and Twinkles. I don't know what Twinkles is, but I really like it. It's really pretty. It really does pack quite a punch. So that's a great shimmer. Mm, the blue, I did like Starry Sky, but it is one of those colors. It's a secret shadow. So even though I put it on my eye, like I can't really see the shimmers in it on my eye. It's very weird. It's a very weird formula. I don't understand it. It confuses me. <laughs> Overall, I do like the palette. I don't love it. It's definitely not one of my favorites from ColourPop, but that's more because of a personal preference for what kind of colors that I like. Um, but all the colors performed really well, except that one in the corner. Again, I don't, I don't get so cosmic. I don't know what it's there for. I don't get it. I actually think the highlight of this collection though has to go to these highlighters. First of all, they're cute AF, like, oh, kitties. Um, so again, this is Moon Kingdom, Moonlight, and um, you're getting a darker one with Moon Kingdom. Very much, oh, I can't even open it. Very much works better as a blush on me, but it's so shimmery and shiny. It's so pretty. Oh, I just, I love it. Uh, Moonlight, obviously we didn't get as much of a great experience with because Moon Kingdom just overwhelmed the heck out of it. I thought I'd be able to layer it on top. I could not. You could see it on my nose, but that's kind of it. Um, but I think it's gonna be really pretty standalone for kind of like more of an everyday highlighter. A little more, not quite as in your face as Moon Kingdom, uh, a little more natural. It'll definitely lend some radiance to my overall look. Um, and it's something that I would definitely wear for work quite often. I mean, ColourPop has amazing, amazing highlighters and all their formulas are so good. So this doesn't surprise me that these are amazing, but it really does make me happy that I picked them up because I will be playing with them quite a bit more. Overall, it's a fun collection. I, obviously, I didn't pick up everything in it. I think there's some lip products that I just did not need. But from what I picked up, I'm pretty happy. Again, the Sailor Moon palette is not a color story I love, but there are some colors in there that I know that I will get some use out of, um, especially that bottom row, especially that green, definitely those, and especially this one up here. So overall, for being such a lightly pigmented palette, I'm pretty impressed. Um, and you just, you can't go wrong with the highlighters. <laughs> so. Overall, I'm definitely happy that I picked this collection up. I would love to hear from you on this collection. Let me know if you're gonna be picking anything up, if you liked it, if you hated it. I would love to hear from you, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>